be doing a review on this uh, Ram FX Deluxe golf cart bag. I got it in the digital camel. I think it looks awesome. Um, this comes with uh, 14 dividers on top. They're pretty wide. And they uh, also comes with a separate putter uh, spot for putters with larger grips. So just to give you an idea of how many this actually fits, even though there's 14 dividers, I'll just take all my clubs out and show you. So I got my driver. One three wood. Second three wood. Five wood. One iron that I never use. Two and three irons. Love the two, can't hit the three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Nine. Pitching A, 52, 56, and 60. So all those clubs all those clubs came out of that bag. These clubs also have dry tack oversized grips. So they got oversized grips in them. Let's see how many I actually had in there because I never did count them. So one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, including the putter. So that's the top. I fit the three, the 52, the 56, and the 60 in here, pitching wedge, A gap, whatever you want to call it, and then the rest of them. Um, this center section here, I put my driver and both my three woods. Uh, I have two three woods because one works better out of the rough and one I just bought and I take it with me. And then usually I have the five wood here and the one iron here and the one iron I never use anyway. And then the putter putter spots there staying on the back side of the the bag here this is where I keep all my tees I think I got ball marker in there too but a ton of tees in there it's also got a spot to just have three tees right on the outside this also lifts up I don't know for what but it does oh I know what that's for I just figured it out. So I, one of the negative things I was going to say about this was I always had the, when I put it on the cart, the strap I always had underneath here. You lift that up, you put the strap under there and then put it back down. That's crazy. I just figured that out making this video. Then on the back side here also I got pen or marker holder. I keep a bunch of extra balls in here. This isn't a very deep pocket, but you could put like some of your non-good balls in there. Maybe some gloves. This thing comes with a cooler. Fit a couple beers in there. Some ice packs. This is where I keep my good balls and usually a glove or two on this side. Spin it this way. Uh, it's got a couple clips on the outside. This is just where I keep my distances. Oh, there it says cart strap right there. Never even seen that. Awesome. All right, so then you got a pocket up here. This is a big pocket that zips all the way down the side. The only thing I have in there is the cover and a ball retriever. It's got a dry pocket, so if rain's coming. I always keep my phone in here, my keys. It's also got a dry pocket on the other side, which I'll show you. And then it's got a big side pocket that I have nothing in because there's so many pockets on this thing. I don't really know what to do with them all. So turning it around here, uh, it's got the one shoulder strap and then also the hand strap. Uh, it's got where you keep your umbrella. So it's got a little zip tie strap here and then it's got another strap that you just put the bottom of it in. Uh, it's got these nice handles. Usually when I'm grabbing my clubs, I grab them by this handles. These are pretty, 
pretty sturdy. Uh, it's got a Velcro spot to put your glove. I've tried it and uh, it does hold uh, the glove even when you're driving the cart. Uh, I got two different towels hanging off of this and then the, the tool to clean up the clean up the clubs. Uh, like I said, it's got another dry pocket on this other side. I got markers in there to mark my balls. Um, all kinds of different stuff. It's got another big side pocket here. Another pocket I have nothing in because there's so many pockets in this thing. And then it's got another big side uh, pocket here um, where I keep my shoes, my golf shoes. So that is the just walk around of the Ram Golf FX Deluxe uh, cart bag. Again, this is in digital camel. Love the look of it. I haven't seen anybody else with these on the course where I've gone. Uh, some of the uh, negatives quick that I should just go over. Obviously, I have way more clubs than you're supposed to have. I really don't care if you're only supposed to have 14. I'll take as many as I want to use. Um, the cart or the bag I did find tipped over one day when I came home from work. So a little top heavy with all them clubs in there, obviously. It's got a little bit of twist in it. It is, it's, it's a sturdy bag. Um, but it, I, I did see some complaints where, where it does have a little bit of twist in it. Um, it does come with the cover for your clubs. I think I paid 129. I'll share a picture of it. I bought it on eBay. I think it was 129. So cheaper than a lot of the, the bigger name golf bags, but it's still a really nice golf bag. Um, it also carries kind of weird with that shoulder strap. It carries really flat, like in it. Again, this might be because I have too many clubs in it, but uh, <clears throat> it seems like it wants to tip over frontwards all the time. You know, have all the clubs fall out. So those are the negatives on it. Positives, looks awesome. Carries a crap ton of, of uh, clubs there, even with the oversized grips. Again, these are sticky, the dry tack sticky oversized grips, and they all fit in there, and I really don't have to force any of them in with with 18 clubs in there. So uh, again, the cooler I just used, I put one little ice pack in it with a couple beers and uh, Gatorade and uh, kept them cold through 18 holes. So, um, you know, obviously it's drinking some. So the, the ones that were left at the end, they did uh, stay cold. And then just a ton of pockets. So if you're a type of guy that carries a lot of stuff with you, um, this is definitely a bag that you're going to like. So, again, the Ram FX Deluxe Golf Cart Bag, uh, 14 dividers. I got 18 clubs in it, plus the putter, so 19 total clubs. Um, just a, a real nice bag. I'm, I'm real happy with it. I don't have anything bad to say about this at all. And the fabric on this is... a. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like jean material, but it's it seems very cut resistant. So um, I'd give it a good review if I were one to give reviews, but uh, online. But this is just a video that I made for anybody that's looking at these online and maybe wants to buy one. I would say so. I'd buy it again and again.